see, the nature of this life is such, you have only that which you abandon. Be in the moment, be in the moment. Well, why are you trying to be in the moment? Be somewhere else and show me. Just be in some state of abandon and see how beautiful life becomes. I did not say I'm conscious <laughs> I'm… Uh, I'm in a crazy state of abandon and intoxication all the time. Just look at my eyes and see, I'm always stoned. Never touched a substance, but that's how I am, totally knocked out. So I didn't say I'm conscious, I was only telling you, you should be conscious <laughs> because <laughs> There is… see, the nature of this life is such, you have only that which you abandon. The nature of life, even the phenomena around you is like this. For example, right now this looks black, not because it is black, simply because it's refusing to reflect light, that's why it looks black. This looks red, not because it's red it holds back all the other dimensions of the color, reflecting only red. So what it throws out becomes its quality. This is the nature of existence here. What you try to be, you will not be that. What you just throw out, that becomes you, isn't it? If you throw money around, people think you're rich, yes? If you hold it, people think you're… maybe you don't have anything. Isn't it? So what comes out of you is what is yours in a way. So when you say mind or being mindful, I do not know much about it, but I believe people are trying to think themselves into this moment. Be in the moment, be in the moment. Well, why are you trying to be in the moment? Be somewhere else and show me. Hello? Can you be somewhere else? No. You're anyway here, so why are you trying to be here? So what you're saying is, don't think. Tch, it took millions of years of evolution to get you to this level of cerebral capability. But now, you want to give it up. The two basic qualities which sets us apart from every other creature is, we have a very vivid sense of memory. Everything that happens, we remember. This is why our experiences become our knowledge and we have a fantastic sense of imagination. We can imagine something which is not yet and work towards creating it. These are the only two things people are suffering <laughs> These are the only two things. What happened ten years ago, they can still suffer. This does not mean they're suffering life, they're suffering their memory. What may happen day after tomorrow, they're already suffering. This does not mean they're suffering life, they're just suffering their imagination. They are suffering their memory and imagination, two basic faculties which set us apart from every other creature. You are ruining evolutionary process, you want to go back. You want to go back because you looked at monkeys jumping around happily on the trees. So you think it is a better way to live, but evolution gone waste. Huh? This is a much bigger possibility. A possibility unrealized is always a big problem. Any possibility, if you don't realize what is the possibility and grasp it, all possibilities look like problems, isn't it? Right now that's a human problem. So, you don't have to be mindful, you should be mindless, really. Just… just… just be in some state of abandon and see how beautiful life becomes whether in work or song or dance or whatever the hell you do, just throw yourself into it for a moment. Without any sense of being mindful or conscious or unconscious or whatever, just see how wonderful life becomes. They are the most wonderful moments of your life, isn't it so? Where you were absent. Thank you very much. <laughs>